At first glance, Boyers, Pennsylvania is a rural town like countless others. There's a post office, a church, a pizza shop, and rows of old homes. But dig a little deeper and you realize there's something unique about this place. It is a town built on paperwork, literally. Buried deep underground here are reams of personnel files from government workers. All of it is housed in an old limestone mine run by a company called Iron Mountain. Their caves are temperature controlled, safe from earthquakes, and protected by a private fire department. There are a number of companies at least space in the mine, but one of the largest is the federal government. It's where the Office of Personnel Management processes retirement applications for federal workers. And for the 600 employees of OPM here, it might be the strangest workplace in the federal bureaucracy. For this story, neither Iron Mountain nor OPM would allow our cameras into the mine. So we had to find footage from old news reports from other parts of the mine. In fact, this was the closest our cameras could get. Um, I started out as a file clerk as a GS2, and then I went to um, interim pay. Where they we were curious about what it was like to file paperwork eight hours a day, 230 feet underground. So we spoke to Patty DeCaria, who worked in the mine for 38 years. You go to work in the dark, you go work underground, you come out in the dark. Was that ever, did you ever sort of feel like you never would see the light? I mean, was that a hard thing to do in the wintertime? Um, it was, mm -hmm. but I, I am not a, a sun worshiper that has to have the, the sun every day. I don't get depressed in the wintertime. Those, those big file rooms, how big are they? What do they look like? Um, there are many, many file cabinets. I think at one point I heard there was like a million file, file drawers. And w so, for instance, if you were to go to the Smith section, right, if you were to go look for somebody named Smith, how many drawers of Smiths would there be? Um, maybe 500. Wow. There's a lot. I know, like, like William Smith, there might be seven drawers of William Smith. Did you see your own file come through when you retired? No, because I was already gone. Already, did it come through? Did it, have you any problems with it? Did you have to call and yell at anybody? Um, no, because <laughs> OPM employees get special <laughs> treatment. Oh, really? How does it, how does it work? Um, the day I left, I gave one of my reviewers my name and social security number, and they watched for it to come through. And every agency has a code. Um, post office is 18, OPM is 24, and the development section knows to watch for those codes that are 24 because those are OPM employees. The mine, as locals call it, is one of the biggest employers in this area. It's also the main source of customers for Jason McBride's pizza shop. Okay, Corey. Uh we got 15 minutes. Thank you. McBride, who got a security clearance to deliver in the mine, arrives every day at about 11.30 with pizza, chicken wings, funnel cakes, and salad. One steak, three chicken wings. There was a Christmas party we did like that. It was well over 1,500 chicken wings and uh, 25 what we call our monster pizza. It's full sheet. So, wow. you know, we've also won for as little as an order of pepperoni balls or half a hoagie. For businesses like his and for the township as a whole, the mine is a lifeline. If the paper-based work there was ever automated, it would be a major blow to this area, which offers few other white-collar jobs. But for now, people here believe there will always be a need for somebody to do underground paperwork. Do you ever worry that they're going to, or do people in the township worry that they're going to automate it, digitize it, put it all in a computer server someplace? And yeah. it? Always have the original backup. Yeah. And if you're going to have an original backup, no better place than where, you know, it's, you, you know the climate's controlled. It ain't changing. 